Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for everyone of you who's watching this video, uh, I hope you're all having a fantastic week so far. And before we start this video, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Pedro, I'm from Portugal, European Union. So the reason why I'm recording this video for you guys is just to show you uh, what's the current news and what's happening in this point blank uh, scene around Europe and North America. So basically what uh, Zepeto is trying to do, Zepeto for those who don't know, is the company that created point blank and other games that they are currently developing. Uh, but for now just talking about point blank, they are trying to um, pretty much terminate the clients of each uh, European server and North American server. Uh, the reason why this is happening is because from my point of view what I think is happening is they don't have enough players that can actually uh, support the game itself so they can pay for the servers to stay online. This is what's, what I think is happening. There's not enough players to play the game. They don't buy the, the cash in game. So basically there will not be any income from um, the company itself. So basically what I think is they are not going to keep the server up uh, if they don't have any income from the players. Uh, so I can show you. I've been checking. Um, this is the current in the last news that they post in their Facebook that they are trying to end the server at 21 of September this year. I think this that this uh, message and notice that they put it, it's not fair for all the players and all the players that wanted to go competitively uh, outside to, to basically to represent their own nations. Myself, for example, I've been representing Europe uh, for the last three um, championships, world championships, and I would like to try again this year, but me and other players that wanted to achieve this as well, uh, with the same dreams, of course, that I have, uh, are completely gone because of this uh, notice they just put it like this out of nowhere. Um, I think this is not a fair thing to do towards the community and at least not the way it was done. I can show you at 27 of March uh, this year there was an announcement made by Zepeto with the company who was hosting the game in European Union and North America that pretty much they're saying that uh, we would not participate at this year PBWC which was held in Sao Paulo, Brazil, because they they were still changing some tournament system from what's saying here and game management, uh, so therefore they could not uh, join and organize uh, European Union and North America to uh, register for PBWC. However, they changed um, all of this and they gave us like an update that they that we could actually play uh, PBIC later on. Like I was searching, uh, you can see other news in North American European teams will be registering for the PBIC 2018. However, this will not happen because they decided to cancel the server, to terminate the server. And from my point of view, since they have announced before March 27th, that uh, they would be uh, organizing the teams to um, play for this uh, tournament at PBIC this year, 2018. It's not fair the way they did all of this because first they say that uh, it's their fault we could not participate at PBWC and then they say that we can participate at PBIC, they would just need to change some system and game management so they could organize every stuff. However, they just cancelled all of this with the news that they would terminate the service straight away. There would not be any more tournaments, there would not be 
any more point blank on each uh, region. For me, this is not a proper uh, announcement to be made to all of the uh, people who's, who still wants to play the game. Doesn't matter if it is competitive or no, even if it's just for fun with with the friends, or even for those who just like to broadcast the game, live stream, and show off the game, for example, to the rest of the world. This is not fair for those who want this with the game, right? Um, so pretty much what I wanted to talk about, for example, you can see this is this was one of the announcements that my team made when I went to PBIC, and it's pretty disappointing that they announced that we can go and once again that European and North America they're able to go that they would fix this, but then they keep saying that, for example, the new esports schedule that they promised on the April 13th, this is not, was not accomplished, and uh, done. Then we kept waiting, waiting and waiting, until we got to the news that it would be terminated the service. And uh, I hope somehow sharing this video with all the community of Point Blank not only Europe, but North America, Latin America, Brazil, uh, Russia, all the regions that plays point blank that it can support us as well, trying to talk with Zepeto so we can change and pretty much make all the server better once again and avoid all of this. There is several, several ways we can make uh, Zepeto trying to not to delete our game, I would say. This is what I think it's better to make the game better for the community and the competitive scene. First of all would be try to have personnel who can be active member in the game to supervise, basically to supervise and make sure that the game is in good condition. What I mean in good condition means like less hacking and to make the game, to make more events for example or to make the game more updated if there's any bugs that they could eventually fix it, right? Also, uh, this is uh, it's normal to see that uh, the company who is uh, pretty much hosting the game does not have a lot of time because of the time zone difference. Uh, it's South Korea where they're based and they are keeping the European and North American service up. Therefore, due to time difference, they cannot really stay in the game and be in contact with all the players because it's normal, right? Uh, different hours, different time zones, it's perfectly normal. However, they could uh, attribute moderation to players or hire local players to broadcast, for example, and to advertise the game and to control the game for any uh, illegal activity, for example, if they don't have the time for this. Uh, what I think it would be also nice to do from their part or point of view, it's important to have events scheduled with live streaming to reach new audience. Social media for example would be Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Twitch TV and many other platforms that we could actually um, show up the game to everyone. The third option would be try to make a platform or a system to make teams to play versus each other. This would be a tournament, of course. This would be for the competitive scene. If this option number three is not uh, available or possible due to time difference, then hiring a professional company to host such tournaments at those regions would be good. For example, in Europe, we have a very known team. Uh, I mean, esports uh, team or organization. It's called ESL Esports. Uh, you can find the website at eslgaming.com. And in North, North America, you have Sevo at sevo.com as well. You can find uh, this information online. This is not fake information. And I think this would make the community and the competitive scene much better at the game. And they could eventually improve and make the game better for everyone. Okay. Um, this is not just my opinion doing this. And it's almost everyone uh, opinion about all of this and I think we can change this 
uh, if we try to reach uh, the audience that we need, if we try to demonstrate that we can keep this game alive and we can still keep everyone with the same dream or at least we can make a better system for everyone and I think it's still possible to do so. For those who don't know, Zepeto is a South Korean um, company that basically created Point Blank on the year 2008, so pretty much 10 years already online. It's been growing, like it's showing here in uh, Wikipedia, and you can see that they have been creating more tournaments every year, opening uh, new uh, regions to compete in this world championship, and uh, much more. So it's not fair to see that they are like doing this now with just these two servers, just because they are not like able to organize, uh, able to manage the server properly. And they should be open to new suggestions, they should be um, listening to the players that are the ones who actually know the game because they're playing it every day, uh, the suggestions, all of it. They should be listening to all of this, or at least listening. They, even if they don't accept it, at least they try to listen. They, for any reason, they would not accept it. It would be their reason, of course, and this we could not uh, do anything about it. But this is something that they should do: at least listen to the players and all the community. Um, this is the website for the ESL gaming. You could check it. It's a very nice website, an organized uh, company, and also Sivo in North America. Uh, like you could see, I think it's still possible to save the game, I would say this way, and maybe we can achieve something better with this. If you can give us support for European server and share this with all your friends, and all of the people that you might have in contact with, for example, Zepeto staff or anyone who can actually help us, I would be um, thankful for all of this. And thank you for uh, listening to me today. And I hope I can count with you guys and hope to see you soon. Thank you very much.